Welcome guys. Today's video is about how to install a brother printer to the new laptop. And basically um, this printer has already been installed in the wireless system. So I got a review before way back um, August 2020. So this is the part two after two years because I, I got a new um, laptop. So with the use of a printer cable because that will make things easier. So if you just stay stay tuned and um, yeah, hopefully it can um, help you installing this printer to your own um, office setup. Enjoy. So all you need to do is have a printer cable attached to the printer and also attached to the laptop. And then from there, jump to the web or the broader the brother website and then look for the um, appropriate system <clears throat> in my case it will be the windows 10 so by the looks um, i might as well download the full version because there's also a support um, feature but doesn't matter which one yeah pick the appropriate language and then you download it so yeah so it's been it's quite a while that I've made a follow-up video because I don't have not, um, any new device to attach the printer to so I think this is a good opportunity for me to do the um, setup video so I got the, f the install selection software so it's just a matter of setting it up <clears throat> yep and just run through the wizard and then when creating this video, I think I forgot to turn on the the, the printer. Yeah. But if you turn on the printer first, well in this case, you just need to select your cable or local connection because that's attached to your um, laptop. So in this case, I forgot to, at this stage, I forgot to attach the printer. Oh, sorry. Uh, we got to um, turn on the printer. Yeah, so yeah, I forgot that anyway. But I turn it on now. And then I might have to do it again. So I turned on the printer and then the user just flew. It's finished everything. Just click next and next. Yep. And from there, what you can do is to check under control panel if your printer is already um, installed properly. Yeah, and basically just to show that it's basically installed. <clears throat> yep, and there you are. You can see that there's a the printer and then just do a test page to make sure that's basically running and that's the wired or through the printer cable <clears throat> yep and that's running The next bit is I'm gonna try to access the wireless printer. So I remove the printer cable and then just click refresh and then I basically can see the wireless one. So I'm, I'm just trying to connect through to that printer, which is the same printer, but not using the cable. So yeah, it will take some time, probably under a minute. Yeah, it's just, yeah, an easy install because it's already there. Yes, as you can see, there's no cable attached anymore. And the printer is turned on. And it's still saying connecting. So, and that's basically installing. Yep, and that's basically ready to go. So, if I open that up and then do a print test. 
that hang on a second right. let's try again yep. click on that one and then test yeah so as you can see in the printer yeah properties that's basically over the network Yep, and then I can print test page. And from there, you can see it blink, therefore it's communicating. Yeah, uh, I don't think it's a, a difficult job to um, install this type of printer. Maybe the the initial bit will be confusing because you want to enable the WPS for uh, the 2.5 or 5 gigas. I can no longer. Um, remember what I did before but you can just go to the actual or to the first video I created ages ago